we ha as instructors have a bias, and our bias is that we believe learning should not be fun. Instant feedback, competition, freedom to fail, and rewards. Let's say Pac-Man. It's your first time playing, you're trying to figure out what the deal is with the ghosts. So you just kind of go at one of the ghosts, and then you find out you can't eat a ghost. Ghosts eat you. And you have instant feedback, because you die, and you have to try again. So, gamification suggests that we can do the same kind of thing in our classroom. That is what makes video games so engaging, is that they, video game producers, have reached that perfect level of difficulty and ease where the player is engaged with the game. It's not so difficult that they are discouraged, it's not so easy that they are bored. Have any of you ever had the experience of buying a video game? Uh, so you, you go on Steam, you download a video game, or you know, if you're old school, go to Best Buy, get a video game. Uh, you spend five bucks, 20 bucks, 40 bucks on this video game. You open it up, you start the first level, you die. And that's the end. The game locks, you can never play the game again. So the insight for us this provides you with freedom to fail. Once you've bought that game, once you started playing that game, you can fail again and again and again and again. You have infinite possibilities to, to get better at it. Video games operate by incremental rewards to motivate learning. You give uh, students incremental rewards, they're more likely to stay motivated with their learning rather than withholding one giant reward for the end. I think this approach is an excellent approach in order in to engage young people, but I'm just wondering how this jives against standard standard procedures in a classroom mm -hmm. yeah. in terms of how you operate and, and, and what the needs or the wants of the, the student. Yeah. These are both selective response apps. Therefore, they're going to be lower level on the pyramid than rather than higher level. They're not going to be writing essays through these apps. And how much of this transfers over into their actual writing? Yeah. So I think as long as Kahoot and Socratic are part of your more robust grammar instruction program, uh, I think it will help.